Understanding the phrase, croak. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into an intriguing English phrase, croak. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it. Croak is primarily associated with the sound made by frogs. Yes, that ribbit or deep, raspy noise that you hear from frogs, especially during rainy evenings. It's the sound they make, and it's called a croak. However, English is a fascinating language, filled with phrases that carry both literal and figurative meanings. The word, croak, is no exception. Here are some of its metaphorical uses. 1. To die. If someone says, he croaked, it means that person has passed away. It's a rather informal and sometimes even humorous way to refer to death. It's essential to be cautious when using it, as it may not be appropriate for sensitive situations. 2. A raspy voice. If someone's voice sounds rough or hoarse, like that of a frog, you can say, she's croaking, or his voice croaked. To help you get a better grasp, let's look at croak in action. 1. After the concert, the singer's voice began to croak because he strained it too much. 2. Did you hear? Old Mr. Thompson croaked last night. Remember, this usage is informal. 3. The pond was filled with the croak of frogs, making it seem alive and vibrant. And there you have it. The word, croak, is more than just a frog's call. It's a versatile word with several meanings that can add depth to your conversations. We hope this video has made the term clearer for you. Always remember to use such phrases with understanding and sensitivity. Happy learning!